Hello everyone, this is THG, aka The Skinny Gamer, and welcome back to another collection video. And this time I show you guys my updated NES collection as of right now, 2022. The last time I made one of this is around 2020, and I added a lot of like three games since then and all that other stuff. But other than that, the collection never really changed all that stuff, and I don't buy NES games anymore and all that other stuff. And so I cannot wait to show you guys my collection and all that stuff. And so before I get into the games and this baby right here and all that stuff. And I never grew up with the NES much as a kid and all that stuff. Super Nintendo was my uh, first to go to system when I got me into gaming and all that stuff. So Super Nintendo was my first game system I played in that generation all that stuff for my childhood and all that stuff so I never grew up with the NES much as a kid and all that stuff until like semi recent adult recently and all that stuff and so anyway while I further ado and all that stuff before I get into the games and all that let me show you this baby right here and all that stuff and this is the reprint of the NES Classic Edition back in 2018 like four years ago and all that stuff so if you haven't saw in my older videos and all that stuff of this uh talk about this talk about this video right here and all that stuff be sure to check out my channel like four years ago and all that stuff and so yeah so i got this the nes collection edition the reprint back in 2018 when mini systems were popular and all that stuff before it had the sega genesis one before it had the turbo graphics playstation classics minis all that other stuff this is the one to go to with and all that other stuff. But like back in like 2016 and all that stuff, when the first NES classic got released and all that other stuff, people like buy them quickly and sell them like hotcakes and all that other stuff on eBay to raise prices for scalpers and all that other stuff. But but forgot this right here for the second reprint of this for back in like 2018 and all that stuff. It's so so awesome. Still in the box and all that other stuff. And even I even got the uh, controller with it and all that other stuff. And this one right here and all that stuff. This is why I don't have much NES games and all that stuff. Because it had this one right here. It has every other NES games and all that stuff. Like, of course, Super Mario Brothers, Metroid, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Zelda, Kirby Adventures, all that other stuff. And so, yeah, you can mod this thing, this system, like a champ and all that other stuff. So, hopefully, like, if I, if, I, if I get my own apartment or a house one day or other stuff, maybe and all that other stuff. I have my second TV right here and all that other stuff. I'm going to mod this thing and all this stuff. Add more games to it and all that other stuff. To add more games. I have a perfect, perfect, uh, classic, um, any, any, uh, classic, uh, NES system edition and all that other stuff. Way better than those 30 games right here and all that other stuff. So, so yeah. So, here's the controller right here and all that. I got for like 10 bucks win back then. And also, and here is the back of it. Yeah, so they have... They, they have all those games right here or stuff. Yeah, I got this with the first, second reprint for it first came out back in 2018. So, if you haven't seen this channel of this, see me, see me talk about this in this video right here or stuff, be sure to check it out on my channel. So, yeah, this is the second reprint of the NES Classic Edition with this uh, NES controller right here. So, yeah, there's those. And lastly, for the for the NES related and all that stuff, I got this regular Nintendo controller and all that other stuff. Since I don't have an NES slash Super Nintendo and all that other stuff, the system I play on that is the Retron 2 right there and all that other stuff. Is that Retron 2 can play NES slash Super Nintendo games and all that other stuff? So I use Retron 2 and all that other stuff. To play my NES games and my Super Nintendo games and all that stuff, and it still works perfectly. That for sure, I'm sure. So I, I got this thing for like five years ago, and um, all that stuff. It's still working like a champ and all that stuff. So yeah, that is my Retron 2 that I could play my NES games and my Super Nintendo games. So yeah, that is that. And so, and now, now not wasting any time and all that. Let's go on with the game collection. All right, let's start with the game collection and all that stuff. So first game I have right here is the Af the Adventure Island on the NES. Uh, this is a really really cool game right here and all that stuff from the NES and all that stuff before they made Super Adventure Island on Super Nintendo. So if you like to if you if you like those games and all that stuff, play Adventure Island on the NES. It's so so worth it. So yeah, there's that. 
next game right here and all that stuff that is oh switch it up Oop. all right whatever anyway uh chippendale rescue rangers before uh they made the disney afternoon collection back in 2017 and all that stuff the only play that, like the disney 8-bit games and all this stuff is this one right here and all that stuff is so yeah you can find this game find this game a uh, game of uh, like 20 to 25 dollars and all that stuff if you don't want to spend that type of money and all that stuff get the disney afternoon collection on ps4 or xbox one for like eight bucks and all that stuff is so so yeah chippendale rescue rangers is really really uh 8-bit uh disney uh co-op game and all that stuff you're a big fan of the tv show and the cartoon back in the day also as a kid just like me back in the day also highly recommend chippendale rescue racer so so worth it so yeah there's that next game right game right here is batman the video game i paid 15 dollars for it and all that stuff this game is really really freaking freak hard and all that stuff i did a, a skin gamer plays on this game right here if we go back to do the skiing here and plays of me playing the game and all that stuff, hope you find on my channel. But this game is really, really hard and all that stuff. So if you're a big fan of the Batman movies and the Batman comic back in the day and all that stuff, play Batman the original video game. The NES game is still so superior than the Genesis version. But the game is so 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 hard. So yeah, there's that. Next game right here. Um I wish I showed today how this in the uh, classic edition and all that from the system right here that is the original original contra on super on the uh, nes you know what can i say about contra fun game hard as balls fun shin them up hard as balls and all that stuff if you're playing by yourself and all that stuff good luck if you play with a friend you get through it with ease and all that stuff so other than that contra the first hard off for star with contra series Really, really great game. It's way, 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 way better than Super C in my opinion. Next game I show right here that is Darkwing Duck and this a Nintendo sleeve right here and all that stuff. I paid forty dollars for this game back in the day and all that was back in like twenty nineteen or something like that. Before I even bought the Disney Afternoon Collection and all that stuff, just like Chippendale Rescue Ranger and all that stuff. You don't want to spend that type of money on type of money on this game right here and all that stuff. Play on the Disney Afternoon uh, Collection on the PS4 and Xbox One right here. And this is a really, really good game, but hard as balls as well and all that stuff. So, basically, it's like Disney version of Mega Man for this game, about Darkwing Duck and all that stuff. So, like I said, if you're a big fan of the cartoon and all that stuff back in the day and all that stuff, that I watched as a kid and all that stuff, highly recommend play this game, but hard as balls as well. So, yeah, there's that. Next game right here, the arcade classics edition of Donkey Kong. Um, before Mario was a thing and all that stuff, this is Donkey Kong was started on before they made Mario and all that stuff. What can I say about uh, Donkey Kong? It's a classic, classic arcade and all that stuff. I used to play in the arcades a lot, lot as a kid and all that stuff um, when I was living in NYC and all that stuff. So if you don't have this in your NES collection, what are you waiting for? Play, get it if you find it on the wild and cheap and all that stuff. Play the original arcade classic Donkey Kong right here. So, yeah, there's that. We got Double Dribble, classic basketball game on the NES right here. Next game right here, and all that stuff that is the Flintstones Red the Rescue or Dino Happy, which I bought for like $20 and it came with a manual. Or so. This is a really, really good uh, platforming game on the, on the NES right here. If you're a big fan of the Flintstones and all that stuff. The one from um, from the Dino 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 and Hoppy and all that stuff. That one costs really 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 expensive and all that other stuff. So so if you big fan of the Flintstone games and all that other stuff, I highly recommend Flintstones: The Rescue of Dino and Hoppy. It's so 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 worth it. So yeah, there's that. Next up, we got Iron Soul Wizards of Warriors Two. The Little Mermaid. Um, this is a really, really great uh Disney eight bit game and all that. If you're a big fan of the Little Mermaid, and if you like big like Little Mermaid games and all that stuff, play the NES version of this game or the Game Boy Advance version of this game and all that stuff. Don't play the Genesis game and all that other stuff for, for the Genesis games for the Little Mermaid games and all that stuff. So it's easy and all that stuff and all that stuff. If you're a big fan of the Little Mermaid and all that stuff. This is the easiest Disney Capcom game ever and all that stuff. If you're a big fan of the film as a kid and all that stuff, just like me back in the day and all that stuff. If you're a big fan of Little Mermaid and all that stuff, 
I highly recommend the Little Mermaid on the NES. And you can find it for like really cheap. I got for like 10 bucks back 10 bucks back in 2018 now. So I don't know how much the game go for. Maybe for like still like 10 to 15 bucks and all that stuff. So if you're a big fan of those games and all that stuff, I highly recommend the Little Mermaid on the NES. So so worth it. So yeah, there's that. We got River City Ransom, which I used to play a lot lot during the Wii Virtual Console and all that stuff. And I got this card right here and all so I got it for like $30. Like three years ago, back in like 2018, 2019, and all that stuff. But this is a really good beat, 8 bit beat em up on the NES, and all that stuff. So, if you're a big fan of the 8 bit beat em ups, all that before Streets of Rage and all that stuff, I highly recommend Rivers and Ransom on the NES. It's so, so worth it. So, yeah, there's that. We got Tailspin on the NES right here, just like Chippendale Rescue Rangers. And Darkwing Duck and all that stuff. This is a hard game too and all that stuff. This game, don't don't go for a lot. Go for like 10 to 15 bucks and all that stuff. If you don't want to spend that type of money and all that stuff. Like I said, just like the other two, play on the Disney Afternoon Collection on PS4 or Xbox One. If this one is so, so worth it. This is a good, good 8-bit game as well based on the cartoon as a kid. I watched as a kid and all that stuff. So yeah, there's that. Next game or have, game or have right here that is Teen Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. This game is is a classic right here, classic Ninja Troll game on the uh, NES right here and all that stuff. I need to pick up the uh, Kyle Bond collection on the Switch really as soon as I could play all the games and all that stuff. It's so, so yeah, so yeah, Teen Ninja Troll arcade game. What can I say? It's a classic right here. You like classic Ninja Troll goodness right here on the NES. So yeah, there's that. And let's get these two out of the way and all that stuff. We have Tiny Toons Adventures One. And Tiny Toons Adventure 2 and all that stuff. If you want to play Tiny Toons Adventure games on the NES, play the first one. If this one, this one basically has like a Mario Brothers clone and other stuff right here and all that stuff, I highly recommend it. And this one right here, eh, it was okay and all that stuff. And not as good as the uh, the first one in my opinion. This one right here, you have to collect tickets to play like mini games and all that stuff. But this one right here is not as good as the first one right here and all that stuff. So... If you're really a big fan of the Tiny Toons Adventures cartoon and all that as a kid back in the day, just like me back in the day, all this stuff, I highly recommend Tiny Toons Adventures, the first one, over the second one, in my opinion. So, yeah, there's those. And lastly, for my uh, updated NES collection and all that stuff, that is the Tangent Cart of Shinobi. With this version right here, on the NES version of Shinobi on that, and it was alright. Not as good as the uh, second arcade version and the Genesis games and all that stuff. But this one here, eh, it was alright, but not as good as the um the um the Sega Arcade K version and the uh, Sega Genesis games and all that stuff. So the big fans should know me and all that stuff. Play those uh, arcade and the Sega Genesis games, not this version right here and all that stuff. So yeah, there is that. Well that is it for my updated NES collection as of twenty twenty two. Tell me in the comment below what's your favorite mom, mom fond memories of the NES or what's your favorite NES game you play as a kid and all that stuff. So make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Watch on for my upcoming videos. Check out my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash tgamer7. And I'll see y'all next time with another video. Thank you very much and goodbye.